Hi, I'm Mike Stewart, and this is a short video on builder's liens for owners. Now, if you're an owner, a builder's lien can cause a great deal of difficulty for you and your project. If you are a developer and you have a bank loan financing the work, then that bank is going to see that lien on the project and stop you from getting any further draws. If you're a homeowner, your bank who's loaned you money uh, either for construction or for the renovation will see that lien on the project and um, tell you to remove it because they do not permit liens on their mortgage properties. In those cases, you need to have tools to be able to remove that lien. And fortunately, there are some. The first is that the Builders Lien Act is very strict when it comes to dates and deadlines and procedure. In terms of the dates and deadlines, a lien must be filed within 45 days of substantial completion of the project and some other mm, factors, which I won't mention for now. If it's not filed within that time, you can have that lien removed because it is invalid. Secondly, if the lien doesn't follow the procedure as required under the act, meaning the wrong parties are named, or there's some other flaw in the way that the claim of builder's lien is filled out, you could also have the lien removed. And I would say that perhaps 50% of liens that are filed are not filed within the timelines or according to the correct procedure. So as an owner, you do have some ability to fight back against these liens that are being registered against your property. Now, if you want to have a lien removed, there is a procedure for doing that. You can do it um, one of two ways. You can do it if there's a flaw on the lien by going to the land titles office and pointing out the flaw with a formal procedure. Alternatively, you can go to court and have a judge rule on the issue if there is a flaw. The second way you can get rid of a lien if there is no flaw is by paying the amount of the lien or the amount of the holdback into court. Now, the amount of the holdback may be significantly less than the amount of the lien. Let me give you an example. Suppose you're doing a uh, project where you've paid a general contractor a million dollars. The amount of the holdback would be $100,000. Suppose that general contractor pays a subtrade, say uh, a architectural concrete uh, subtrade around $200,000. That was the, the contract price for them. And they go unpaid. They'll have a lien for $200,000, but the holdback is only $100,000. So you could have their lien removed by paying only $100,000. To do that, you can either uh, put that money in trust with an agreement with that subcontractor or pay the money into court. Again, if you're, doing, if you're getting into this area, I recommend you get a lawyer to help you. You can contact me or find a construction lawyer, but these are the kinds of areas once you get to that level, um, I certainly recommend getting legal advice. Now, the other way to get rid of the lien is just to pay the money into court or pay the money into trust with an agreement. So suppose you're just strapped in your project and you just need to get this lien off right away and you want to continue your work. You can just pay the total amount of the lien either into court or by agreement with another lawyer and that lien can be removed from the title. This is without prejudice to your ability to recover that money later. Um, you still get the right to fight that contractor or subcontractor over the entitlement to that lien. You're not giving away the money forever, but you are waiting until they start um, a lawsuit. Now, the second thing you can do if somebody files a lien on your property is to send them a notice to commence an action. What that does is it forces the person who put the lien on the property to start a lawsuit. They have 21 days from the date that they receive that notice to commence an action to start that lawsuit. If they don't, then you can have the lien removed from the title because they failed to meet the statutory requirements. It's a very powerful tool. I would say that many liens from smaller contractors are removed in this way because it doesn't make sense for them to sue over $10,000 or $20,000. So it's a very, very powerful tool. So if you're an owner who has a lien on your property and you want to find out what can you do to try to get rid of it or to fight it in court if you think that the contractor is wrong, 
You can contact a construction lawyer. You can call my offices at Attack Law or reach out to me directly. I'm Mike Stewart at Attack Law. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.